like look how gorgeous pull out jewel right here where i got like little like pouches and stuff and like glasses look at my tree <laughs> oh my god yeah look at my tree they kind of loaded in here today so let's wow never seen a pumpkin that looks like this this is metal tell me that ain't for the kitchen this might be um an ideal color for the side tables i got the peanut butter bag right here which i love y'all like these they just sit and if i had to choose between one i would definitely have to say the watermelon is better but the peach is good too yeah let me tell you what this man tried on the stove honey <laughs> first off it was too late by the time he came he was like ma'am he was like ma'am you can't record in here company policy i'm like <laughs> really i'm out hey guys welcome back to the channel so we are in a new episode of our home vlog series if you're new here my name is imani do not forget to subscribe before you leave out and if you're returning you're a real one so guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's video let's go ahead and get started so i think i want to probably do my necklace um so i'll do my necklace and and then i'll do this bracelet which i love i'll do this little bracelet comment below if you are like a gold jewelry type of girl or boy um if you um in like the fall time because i feel like gold just looks better in the fall and then silver looks good in the summer and then i'm just gonna put on like one of my little rings uh, i don't think we're gonna do like any perfume today but if you're new here you probably haven't seen this before but basically I, I end up building a little um ikea packs closet i end up building like a little custom closet and um i got like this little pull out jewel right here where i got like little like pouches and stuff and like glasses perfumes and then down here i have like my accessories and stuff like that super cute setup so yeah ain't that cute y'all but we still got to do like a little tour and i think i want to do like a little organization comment below if you guys want to do like a little organization and then down here just got like a little stuff down here so yeah we're about to go ahead and head out here real quick um i do not have any coffee um i'm trying not to drink the coffee y'all i'm not gonna lie it's very hard but um we're gonna go ahead and head to the car and i will see you guys when i get there first of all y'all let me show y'all what happens to this tree look at my tree <laughs> oh my god y'all look at my tree First of all, it's pretty and it's giving fall vibes. However, y'all, my tree is dying and it's probably already dead. So this is the other one. And then this is this one. Y'all, comment below what actually happens to a tree when it looks like this. And is it completely dead and can it be saved? The porch is still looking cute, but it's giving real fall vibes. Y'all, look at this. But anyways, uh, the tree is basically like a caramel color it's giving real fall but y'all i think this tree is dead and i think when i got it it was already dead but comment let me know and then i got a little paper that says like a one-year warranty so y'all i was thinking about digging it back up and taking it back and getting an another tree before it get real cold this is the other one which i can tell where this one is trying to turn to I'm like look at this this is some bull i don't know if some i don't know if like i don't know if it's like things in there that's making it go dead but this one was more healthier than the other one. But y'all, and I was watering them every day. It's a gone. So that is not the issue. Anymore. Comment below. Did y'all see how they look though? I just cannot believe that my tree looked like that. I just can't believe it. And like, it was like, it didn't like happen like the first day, but like it didn't take long to actually start going dead. So that's what makes me believe it had to been dead when or it had to been already going dead when i um bought it i'm sorry because y'all those trees was expensive i got them on sale but i didn't see that many left so i don't know what i'm gonna do 
but the other tree looks so bad i mean it looks so bad so the time right now is 5 55 we're about to go ahead and head out to trader joe's while i still light outside comment below if you guys shop at trader joe's or if you guys even have a trader joe's in your city we're about to go ahead and head out y'all Oh, this is fire. Wow. This is so cute. Mm. Look at the little fire bags they got. Yes, TJ Maxx. Mm. These are fire. Oh, this is so cute. What? We are in TJ Maxx. Um, this had my full outfit look. I'll be pretty chill every time, but this had my like little full outfit looks. So this is like the peanut butter bag right here, which I love. Um, this is a brand that they carry. This one is sixty dollars. Well, seventy dollars. Um, this one is really cute because I don't have a color bag like this one. But let me show y'all the other one that I seen. So the other one that I seen was this one, which is which is kind of cute. Um, I don't know if I would get it though, but it's cute. I'm just trying to think, do I have outfits that's actually going to match this purse? Because I'm trying to do everything intentional. So like, if it's if it's not gonna serve me, I'm not gonna just buy it. Oh, look at the green one. So the one I got at the house is, I think it's something like this one. Look at the green one though. And they got this little gray one. And then also y'all, I need me um, like a new, well, yeah, well like a new like body scrub because I'm like into like scrubs and stuff now. I should probably get these. <laughs> There's only three of them though. That's the only thing. These are 10, but they don't, they don't have a lot of them though. Um, but these are cute though. I like these. Okay, it's a maybe. I don't know yet, but those are cute though. Yeah, I was over here looking at these chairs right here. So these are $100. And I was thinking like, if, okay, so, okay. If I was to get cream furniture, wouldn't these be cute for the accent chairs sitting right across? These are fire. And by the way, I still want cream furniture. I'm going to just keep my black one until I come across something that's perfect. And they got a few chairs. I like these plants as well. These are really cute. I like these baskets right here. They got a few baskets. Oh, this is real cute. Oh, this is 34. Oh, I love this. This one too. Wait a minute. Is this for the kitchen? Wait, how much is this? Tell me that ain't for the kitchen. But well, let me show y'all this other one I seen too. I seen this one. And I was like, what? And this one is $30. Which I guess this could be like a little, I guess this is like a little shelf. But I think I might have to get this for the kitchen. This is $25 right here. Which is, oh, look at this little plant. $25 plant. I love the little baskets and stuff. These are really pretty. Oh, that's on sale for $70. That's nice. Okay, so yeah. Also, yeah, I thought these was really cute too. This mm -hmm. might be um, an ideal color for the sad tables I got. I like the black and the gold hardware. Ooh, look at the, do y'all see what I see? Do y'all see that grass right there? Ooh, look at that. Y'all, yeah. they loaded, hold on. 
they kind of loaded in here today so let's wow oh they got a ton of stuff wait a minute okay where do i start everything over here looks so good like wow this is what i was talking about y'all look at this this is so cute okay i love this i love this one and this one oh this is really making i love both of these these are really pretty so y'all i'm not really looking for anything specific but obviously if i find something that stands oh look at that pumpkin but obviously if i find something that stands out i'm, I'm gonna get it um but y'all look at the christmas stuff they put now oh my god uh, is tan flying like that you're kidding look at these little reindeers y'all oh they got me ready to start shopping for christmas in this thing don't play with me yeah they got the christmas stuff. i can't wait for the christmas stuff so y'all it's gonna be so Y'all, I ain't even finished fall decorating. Let me slow down. Okay. But y'all, tell me, this ain't the cutest thing you done seen so far. This pumpkin is so cute. And look at this. I have never seen a pumpkin that looks like this. This is metal. Wow. That is so cute. They got some really cute stuff in here. That's cute. Look at all this stuff they got. Ooh, not the gray. Not the gray one though. This is real. Look. Look at this. Say we ain't matching. Yeah, I say cute a lot. <laughs> and I know y'all be noticing it. Don't say nothing. <laughs> but I say cute too much. I'm like, this is cute. I'm like, this is real cute. <laughs> this is real. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta chill with the cute. But, um, yes. Uh, hold on, let me see if they gotta, cause y'all know we gotta do that bathroom over too. Gotta do that bathroom over. But yeah, so, that's that. I didn't really find nothing that I felt like I needed to buy as home decor they have some cute stuff i like these so these are the black ones which are so cute these are i might have to get these y'all these are so cute what this is my vibe for the fall so these are cute and then they got these and they got these but see these are in a large and i would need an extra large these are in a large which are a vibe too but the extra large just fits better so I feel like I want to get these but in an extra large right they got some good products in here um, so if you don't know I am looking for a body butter and also a good um, body scrub so let me just show you what I found so far so <laughs> This is the first thing that I found. This is so good, like wow. So what I love about this is the consistency. It is, it's not too, it smell. If y'all could smell this, oh my God. If y'all could smell this. Now I do feel like half of it is missing, okay? Um, but maybe that's just how it comes. This is $4.99 right here. So this is $4.99. And it says these guys pack a heck of a moisturizing punch. Yeah, I like this. So this is definitely an option. So this is option number one. This one right here is called Brazilian Nut. And this also smells good. This is actually $5.99, okay? So 
but it smells really good. But I feel like the other one is more moisturizing. Comment below, what are some good body butters um, for like melanin skin? Um, comment and let me know. What are some good body butters? What do you guys use to um, moisturize when you guys get out the shower? And then also, what are some good body scrubs as well? I found two scrubs. I found this little coffee one. And then this body scrub, lemon coconut scrub. Which is, I don't know if I like the consistency. But this is how it looks. But let's see how. This is, it says body buff. Mmm, coconut and vanilla body scrub. I don't want to smell like coffee. This is not going to work for me. I don't even know why I'm even trying this. I think I'll try, um. This serum. It says rejuvenate retinal oil with coconut essentials. Okay, so I just found this other one. It says retinal and vitamin C uh, face essence with coconut and essential oil. Mm. Let's see what this do. Okay, so this is like okay, so this look a little thicker. Okay, so let's ooh ooh ooh. Oh my god. That is oily, jeez. Wow. Oh, this is nice. I like the glow of this. This is, it says retinol with vitamin C, rejuvenate and revitalize with coconut and essential oil. Oh, this might be a thing. So I think I'm gonna get this one right here. Okay. Oh, I see a green one. This looks, oh, this, okay, this says collagen. Okay, that's collagen. I do want some body oil though. Rose or blended with cover. Heat body oil. Mmm. Have you guys ever tried any products that has heap in it? Let me know.
they got like these little shots, these little like ginger shot things. They got the turmeric, the ginger, and then this look like mighty cherry. I tried these before. And are these good for you? Comment below. Have you guys ever tried the uh, kombucha? It says bubbly probiotic tea for happy guts. Mm, that might be a thing. Health A tropical flavor pineapple. I think it's supposed to be good for you. But I think. Yeah, I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> yeah. Are those good? Okay. These, put that in the video. Mmm. Incredible. Look Are back. they? I'm gonna have to try them. Me too. I got six. Are you saying? <laughs> they must be good, huh? I pretty much got like all the main stuff that I want to get. Um, they did not have the Belgian waffles. If you do know anything about Trader Joe's, the Belgian waffles are really good. But they did not have any. I'm pretty sorry about that. Um, but I did get like these pancakes. Hopefully they're good. And then let me hip y'all onto some wine that's really, really good as well. Are so fire. I've had both of these. And if I had to choose between one, I would definitely have to say the watermelon is better. But the peach is good too. I just end up putting some strawberries inside the peach and it turned out to be pretty tasty. But the watermelon is the best kind to me. But they got watermelon and peach. But and it's only $5. Get with it. Y'all, let me tell y'all what this man tried in the stove, honey. <laughs> First off, it was too late by the time he came. He was like, ma'am. He was like, ma'am, you can't record in here. Company policy. I'm like, <laughs> really? I'm out. Y'all, we just got finished um, going into Trader Joe's. Um, I'm going to give y'all a little haul when we go to the house. So that should be very exciting, okay? And we're about to go to Kroger's real quick. So I can grab some coffee, y'all. I already got creamer at home. A ton of creamer at home. And I'm like, I need to use this creamer. Y'all, we're going to go ahead and hit the Kroger. So let's go. We're back at the house. And I just wanted to show y'all real quick what I got from Trader Joe's. So the first thing I got was these um, potato cakes right here. Comment, let me know if you guys ever had these before. And then also comment, what do you guys get from Trader Joe's when you guys go? This is um, what I got right here. These are potato cakes. These are really, really good. And they're kind of sweet too. So that's the first thing. The next thing I had got was this chicken fried rice from Trader Joe's. Um, I heard this was really good. So I'm just super excited to try it. And it has like chicken in there and stuff like that. So yeah. Next, y'all, I had came across these turkey corn dogs and i had literally have never heard of these so i'm like let me try these these actually might be good so i end up getting these turkey corn dogs and yeah they look pretty good so i did end up getting these pancakes right here and that's because they did not have the belgian waffles and i was really salty because y'all they belgian waffles are so good like but i think i'll try to put these in the oven probably and see how they taste i like pancakes too so i did get these organic silver dollar pancakes from trader joe's so hopefully these are good, but the Belgian waffles are so good. And that's what I normally eat with my potato cakes. Next, I got me a pizza right here from Trader Joe's. Um, I had never tried this pizza before, so I'm excited to try it. Um, it looks pretty traditional, but Trader Joe's pizza just tastes different to me in general. So I'm excited to see what their pizza tastes like. I had a pizza before, but I haven't had this kind. And then of course, honey, this would not be a Trader Joe's haul if I did not get the mandarin orange chicken y'all when i say this chicken is so good baby <laughs> believe me when i tell you this chicken is so good and if you see any trader joe's haul you will know this chicken is bomb everybody get this chicken it is absolutely good now y'all what i do with my chicken i actually put it inside the air fryer and y'all it is so fire inside the air fryer is good so i put mad inside the air fryer with the sauce and it is so good Next, guys, I end up getting these nacho cheese tortilla chips. And I just got these because I have a little sauce that I'm going to show you guys to go with these. These are pretty good. 
they got like a nice like um seasoning on them so with these i'm going to pair these with this sauce right here y'all this sauce right here this sauce right here mm, y'all it is so good and i mean when i say good if y'all don't have this comment below because this is fire if y'all ain't had this go cop this and make sure that you get these chips to go with it these two right here are a combination thank me later then i end up getting me my starbucks coffee and the kind that i get is the unsweet medium roast and that was the last thing i got so guys this is everything and how it is looking Comment below if you guys have tried any of this food before from Trader Joe's. Hey girl, hey. Hey boy, hey. So yeah, it is officially a new day and as you see, I am in the bathroom and I'm in the bathroom because I just got finished putting on this wig. So y'all, this is a HD um, lace closure, I believe. I will leave the links in the description if you guys would like to get it. But y'all, look at this hair, y'all. Like, look how gorgeous. Basically, um, I'm going to show you guys the products um, that we end up getting from TJ Maxx yesterday. So what I used for my parts to put in to make it look better, <laughs> I used this e.l.f. right here. Um, I used this to go inside my part and then I also used this brush right here. So we're just gonna clean it up a little bit. And comment below, like what are you guys using your parts on your wigs? But we just gonna like stroke it back just like this. We're gonna stroke it back just like that just to open it up as you guys can see it's already like a difference so love that ah yeah this look good i love those wigs where you ain't got to put too much effort in um but yeah i think it looks pretty good stuff like this so and then I just kind of like kind of damp it the light is kind of bright I'm like should I cut one of these off okay I feel like it's not as bright but it is a hundred percent Brazilian hair and it does have a um, natural like body wave so this is how it looks in the back and like I said it has like a natural body way really pretty love this hair I think it retailed for like I think it was like I don't think it really cost that much real I think it was like 150 something and then um the length on his hair is I think this is a I think it's a 20 and it's in like a natural color so this is how it comes on me and I am actually about 5'2". This is how the hair is looking. And then we're gonna go ahead and get into these products that we got, honey, because, and as you see, like, look at this, it's so pretty, y'all, look at this. It's so pretty. It's gonna be even more flat when I do my braids again. Because the flatter your braids is up under your wigs, the flatter that your wig will look, especially like at the top. Now, let's get into these products, y'all. So first off, I already washed my face this morning. And y'all, I got to say, I got to say, I love this is just like a little Vaseline little lip um thing I be using. They sell these at the dollar store. I've already used the moisturizer this morning after I washed my face. It's, it's not that glowy as it was when I first put it on, 
But yeah, it literally, like no lie, I can tell, I could tell that I put it on my face um, because it looks a lot more moisturized and it don't look as dry. Like I said, um, my nose normally gets very dry, but um, this is the um, face serum. Well, I guess it's not a serum now I'm looking at it. It's a basically a skincare oil and um, this is the oil right here and it's vegan skincare. And basically, uh, yeah, it's so good. So my skin is sensitive, so hopefully it doesn't break me out. But I'm just showing you guys the glow that it gives. Like, do y'all see that? Like, come on now. Do y'all see that? That's the glow that it gives. So... As you can see, it's very much so moisturizing onto the skin. So very moisturizing. And this is exactly what I was looking for for my skin, was a moisturizer that was going to actually um, replenish my skin and just add moisture into my skin. And then just, you know, keep the moisture actually locked into my skin as well. So, so far I like it. Like I said, it says retinol plus vitamin C rejuvenate and revitalize face essence with coconut oil and essential oil i haven't really used vegan products really but this is basically like my first vegan product but y'all so far i am loving this oil because it's just so it's just so moisturizing and i'm telling you especially like in the winter because like in the winter you know we get dry so like in the winter we definitely need to um have our face and stuff moisturized right and then also y'all i need something for my eyes i've been noticing and i don't know if it's age agent or not but i've been noticing that um my eyes up under my eyes has been like kind of poofy um and then i'm also getting like these little lines right here and i thought they were smell lines but i guess smell lines are down here <laughs> and out of here but i do smell a lot maybe it could, I, don't, I don't know or like cheekbone cheekbone lines mm. i think that's probably what they are cheekbone lines you know i try to take care of my skin as much as possible so i, I mean i don't know but comment below if you guys know a product that i can use like up under my um eye because you know it is like getting like a little line right here um and stuff like that as y'all can see but um i do need something to put up under there um maybe like a um maybe like an eye cream or something like that that'd be really nice so i have like an eye cream probably and i want to show you guys the body scrub that i end up getting and then also the body butter let's start with this the big softy body butter it's by dirty works um and it says it has she butter and cocoa and cocoa butter in one corner and then it has macadamia and sweet almond oil in the other corner i thought that was cute this is how it looks the consistency is pretty thick it smells good um it's definitely strong whatever product they got in here is really strong but as you can see this is how thick it is and you know this is how creamy it is it's very creamy and that's why i got it because i felt like it would definitely like um moisturize my skin especially my hands because my hands are rough and i do be getting like real dry hands you know especially in like the winter because my skin is just dry in general and very sensitive but um it definitely um has the best consistency for my skin and that's why i got it it works it moisturizes the skin and i love that and this was actually bored right now and it came from tj Maxx. so and it actually smelled pretty good uh, i was <laughs> I was like this might not I might, I might not smell it because last night i feel like i didn't like it it's not too bad it's very like minty though okay so y'all next this body butter baby let me tell you this body butter right here y'all i had already tried it last night so i'm not gonna do it again but i like that it's dry um it has a little moisture in there but at first i was concerned about it being like dry and, and, and not like the liquid kind but i guess it's like the same thing and y'all i just added water on my hand with a little bit of this 
and I can literally tell the difference. Like it make your skin so soft. It looks so much brighter and it just looks so much cleaner, y'all. I love this scrub. It's um, by Morgan and Grace Australia Body Scrub and the flavor is lemon coconut. Okay, so y'all, I love this. And this is how it looks on the inside. It smells really, oh my gosh. Y'all, <laughs> look. Look, this smells so good, y'all. This is how it look. Y'all, it smells so good. Like, and this was $5.99. The consistency is perfect. I love this. I love this. I love this. And um, yeah, this is how the bottom look too. This is like a creamy, like oatmeal color, but y'all, I love this. It smells really good. And guys, that is basically going to conclude yesterday's video and today's little snippet of the video. Comment below if you guys love this hair and comment also if you guys would like for me to start doing like wig reviews and installs and stuff like that. Um, also like shower routines and skincare routines and stuff like that, let me know. Um, I enjoyed vlogging today and yesterday. I hope you guys enjoyed everything that took place. Comment below which part was your favorite and then also comment below if you guys have shopped the Trader Joe's. Um, yeah, so comment below. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I love you guys and I will see you guys in the next vloggy vlog. Bye guys.